Half a day, I am Clara Calvo bringing you your daily renewal. Today, I am here with Dr. Juan Rapatis, who is a clinical psychologist and has been for almost 20 years. Uh, we're going to be, this is part one of a part two series, and we'll be discussing Sexual Abuse Awareness Month. Thank you for joining me today, Doctor. Thank you for having me. You know, you being in this field, I'm sure you've heard and seen it all. I wanted to talk to you about how important it is to disclose if you have been sexually abused. Yeah. If you've had some type of sexual abuse or you're not even sure what happened, please disclose because it is usually holding in uh, those um, incidences or someone tells you not to say anything, holding that in causes you a lot of mental and physical emotional pain. Right. And uh, this month is really dedicated to, to kind of just reminding us that it's so important uh, if you, and mostly we're speaking to children especially, mm -hmm. if something has happened to you that just seems really out of sorts or just wrong, please tell, please tell your friends, uh, your mother, your father, your um, teachers, and those are the three, two of the top three or four people that people, kids disclose to. Okay. And of course, adults are victims as well. And what we often see is that men are victims as well, but they hold a lot of that stuff in all, for fear of shame. If you took out all the victims, you add them all together, about 80% of the all sexual abuse victims are females. 20% are, are males. Um, and, and with disclosure, what we're trying to say is it comes uh, relief. Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately, for the, especially those who work in this field, we also know that it is, tab it is really still taboo, especially when it's a personal family issue. Right. So you'll see shame mm -hmm. and embarrassment, especially if the perpetrator is your father, your stepfather, right. your mother, mm -hmm. your stepmother, grandpa, grandparents. So it is still a very touchy subject, but we're here to tell you, you know, in 2017, it, it really uh, it is, it is incumbent and we, it behooves you to to be able to come out and, and really come out and say that if something has happened to you, tell somebody. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think the statistics now are saying like one in three or one in four f females have been victims of sexual molestation. We're talking about physical oh, contact exactly. so that easily if you had 20 women in a room, about eight of them had some serious wow. molestation and a lot of them hold it in. Mm -hmm. And even though we feel, oh, you know, women tend to disclose more. That's not always the case. Essentially, it's important to know that whatever embarrassment or shame you feel, you, you may feel initially, in the long run, the consequences are so much, so much worse than... If you let it go, right. it could be death. Suicide, exactly. drug addiction, uh, we all know the story. And yeah. it becomes very, very tragic when uh, these incidences are kept under wraps and people literally take it to their grave. Thank you for joining me today, Doctor. Thank you for inviting me, and this is a very important topic. Absolutely. And thank you. I'll see you next time on your Daily Renewal.